Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce, and welcome back to A Drink With Crazy. Sorry, the voice is a little... Oh, it's a little weird this morning. Anyway, we're back with reading your comments number five. And today's drink, as it has been in the last few, is coffee. This is like the weekly coffee stream, so... That's what I am going with. And I brought my big mug down so I don't have to go refill it like I did last week. <clears throat> but anyway, how are you guys doing? It's so fantastic to be here. And let's just get into reading your comments. Starting back from last week's reading your comments is my la uh, Billy Bobsack says, My last Marvel movie was Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh, ever since Disney fired Gina Carano, I have been completely down with Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel movie shows. Or done, done, not down. Wow, oh, I need more coffee. Uh, completely done with uh, Disney, Star Wars, and Marvel movie shows. Yeah, I, um, I, I never, I, I, I never even got into them. I just, I couldn't, like, I just couldn't keep going after Endgame. I was like, eh, Endgame sucks. I'm not, <clears throat> you know, I might catch a movie here or there if it grabs my interest, but... Yeah, I, I couldn't keep going. Uh, Two-way Oregon boy says, I really hate the quartering. Just rubs me the wrong way. Kind of like uh, petting a backwards cat. <laughs> so, I don't I don't know why Two-way Oregon boy doesn't like the quartering. I like the quartering. I, I, I like what, you know, that he brings a lot of uh, topics up. And he obviously, you know is able to be the first person to cover a lot of topics that, and you're like, oh, wow, this is really important. Um, I, his, I, his personality is, and I, I know people like with his personality type, they're just very, just like, like him turned up to 11 is like me at a five, right? And he said like when he does his videos, he has to like turn it up to 11. And I mean, that is a thing with YouTube. Like that is a thing when you get on cameras, you want to show the best parts of your personality. So you kind of, you know, you put some flair to it. You know, you, you turn that energy level up, <clears throat> but no, I don't have a problem with the, the quartering so much. Um, Gabe Logan, which is 202 for everybody. He is the 202 super fan. Uh, hey, crazy. A uh, good day to you, sir. I just want to drop. Uh, a big much love and keep up the great work and coverage of news. Uh, the new quartering. <laughs> he calls me the new quartering. Oh, we're going to need to make you an intro video uh, with a cool avatar. Um, and then with that, Xavier Guzman actually reached out in the comments below. And I am now in contact with Xavier Guzman to work on a new logo and, and all that. So, yeah, it's... Um, uh, this channel is getting a lot bigger, a lot faster than I thought it was going to. We are up to, as of today's recording, um, we are up to, let me pull it up in this, oh, sorry, I gotta get rid of my video that I was watching there, and that has nothing to do with the app I just, you ever, you ever do that? You click on an app on your phone, and it just, your phone just completely yeets you to another app? You ever do that? Okay, so as of this recording, oh, focus, there we go, come on, there we go, we are at 576, oh god, okay, subscribers, ooh, the autofocus on that thing, 576 subscribers, we just hit 550 on like Thursday, I think, and you guys have already added another 25, or 26 people to, to that, that is amazing, thank you all so much. Um, <clears throat> Dead End 4991 says about Gohan. I've always been a huge Gohan fan. I'm honestly really tired of Goku and Vegeta. If Gohan got some more screen time and got more training, he'd annihilate both Goku and Vegeta. Well, Dead End 49, I can say with confidence that that is actually the theme of uh, the new Dragon Ball Super superhero movie. Um, I just actually posted my review to that yesterday. I think there's a few comments on that video. Not a lot of people are checking that one out. But um, I can... Uh, I would say go check that out. I'm probably going to do another video on Dragon Ball Super Superhero because that's... it. The it, The longer I think about that movie, the... Let's just say that it, it, it's not looking so good. The, the, the more, the longer I am away from being in the theater with my family, enjoying the movie with my family, and the more I think about that movie, uh, the worse it gets. 
Um, so, and that's, that's really bad. Cause I don't want to say that about a Dragon Ball movie. Cause I really like Dragon Ball. Um, and this is the Ripper versus not shipping yet video. Um, and I, I usually just read, you know, Eric July, you know, Ripper vs. comics isn't shipping yet. Why? Um, and I usually just read whatever I put on like the titles of my videos or whatever the thumbnails say. And then the actual titles of the videos are, you know, whatever would trigger the search the most uh two a oregon boys is you're gonna have to slow down on the vids i don't have enough time <laughs> oh well uh and to that i replied uh, uh can't stop won't stop oh and he also told me about the honey kolsch i was gonna write that down and you know what let's just do it this way because i appreciate all of my uh beer recommendations um, come on. All right, and what was it called? It was called the O uh, Honey Kolsch. K L S C H from Rogue Brewing. Can't spell today, but that's normal. All right. <clears throat> okay, now that I remember this thing. Um, one and only RJ. <clears throat> uh, I live in Texas. Will I receive them by August? I mean, I don't know. Like, I've got a few days left in August. I don't know if he's actually sent anything out yet or if he's still prepping. I'm not sure what's going on. I know he's been... Well, I think they've been bagging and boarding for like the last week, so... I'm pretty sure Ripa said something about... I, I, I missed one of his live streams yesterday because I was at the movie theater with uh, with my family um, watching the Dragon Ball Super Superhero movie, and so obviously I missed his live stream that he went live at noon because I was literally in a movie theater, so... Um, and I'm not a member of his channel, so I can't see his live streams afterwards. Xavier Guzman is incredibly sad knowing that I'm living in the laziest generation ever. Yeah, I kind of talked about the workforce in that video and how they are. Um, yeah. Uh, Ripperverse News Reviews and Theories. Good video. Well, thank you so much. <clears throat> Ripperverse News Reviews and Theories. I appreciate it. Um, thank you guys so much for being here and checking it out. Um... Ivan to it. You forgot to mention the PayPal situation. What is going on with that? Um, yeah, so I didn't mention the PayPal situation in this video because that's not keeping the books from shipping. That's not one of the hurdles that is preventing Ripa from shipping, as he has stipulated. Um, also, I already did two PayPal videos, like, and what's going on, and I really don't feel that there's much more that I can say about that situation on my feelings on that. Like, there's... You know, I have two PayPal videos up talking about the garbage company and what they're doing to Eric July and how garbage they are. And I don't really have anything more. But yeah, I did not uh, talk about the PayPal thing in this video with because that's that's not preventing it from shipping. The context is what is preventing this from shipping. And the two things are is one, it scaled up a lot more than Eric July initially thought it was going to. And two is it's hard to find good help, and he's trying to also find good help. You know, he can't just bring anybody in. Uh, Giovanni Too Many Up. <clears throat> Love the clickbait title you chose for this video. <laughs> Winky face. Yeah, yeah, I did that. I did that. Yeah, I did. I, I don't know. I... So my titles, I'm just going to lean into my natural personality, is a lot of people will look at my titles... And think, oh, this guy's gonna rage at this thing, but the 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 specific wording that I will use for my titles will be very neutral. I could go one way or the other. It's like my first rip reverse video that I did is like, what's the point and does it matter? Like I answered what the point was, and I answered whether or not it does matter. And I did so in a positive light by the end of the video. And I think that drew a lot of people in, but people were like, man, it just sounded like you were going to go the opposite direction. It's like, well, no, it's just, I, like, I ask an honest question. Does it matter or what's the point? That doesn't mean, that I just because I understand what the rest of the internet might infer upon that, and they are going to put a negative inference upon that. That doesn't mean that I'm not, like, asking an honest question, right? It's just, 
you know, when people read, what's the point of the Ripperverse? You're just like, uh, click. And then I get to it. Hey, the point of the Ripperverse is actually to contribute to the parallel economy. And people go, oh, that's what he meant. So he wasn't just being a dick. I, I would, yeah. And so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm going to do here. It's like the Ripperverse is not shipping yet. It's not. It wasn't shipping yet. There are reasons for that. Like, <laughs> And I answer them, and I answer them honestly. And I, I think I'm, I'm fairly positive towards Eric July. I mean, I've only bought his book, and I'm waiting for my books to show up. So, um, the Notorious Inn sucks. I don't live in Texas. I would love to work part time helping rip a pack books. Yeah, I w like if I was in Texas, dude, and had the time, like I would probably try to help out if I could, and just, you know, hey man, I, I'd do my best. Like, let's go. Uh, Ripperverse news reviews and theories. He also said that he was going uh, to wait to send them all at the same time to keep people from getting spoiled. And yeah, and so and to that I actually answered. Uh, I replied to Ripperverse news reviews and theories, and I said that uh, yeah, and I I did a FOMO video, the FOMO and bi uh, and business video for the Ripperverse, and where I talked about that. Uh, and why he had to kind of move things around a little bit to make sure that you know. Um, everybody kind of got their books together. Billy Bobsack. He also delayed shipping the first batch so that there are less of a gap between the first batch shipped and the second batch uh, batch ship. Yes, that's absolutely true. Yes. Um, Kim J. I can relate with the whole lazy people. I used to work in a warehouse for nine years uh, when I was with uh, Disney, and I was practically the only one who was working hard while everyone else uh just doesn't do it correctly or they do or they they do the but not to the amount of quality and effort i put in and that's required but then everybody gets on my back just because i'm doing my job right i also understand completely how ordering and shipping works heck every time i make an order to get a book from ebay i'm always checking uh the description to see what the conditions are <clears throat> and what i should expect before i order the book i swear people today are just becoming stupider and stupider by the day yeah kim j i think that um and i and i think what led us here is that like that that old school like you know, oh, well, the customer is always right, bullshit, and that has turned into, like, a poison in our, you know, consumer and customer market, is, like, the customer is oftentimes not always right. In fact, they're very wrong, because business and corporations and the way that business works now, um, especially with, like, tax law and all that, it operates so much differently than people think it does, and people are like, well... He did a, uh, a crowdfund. Well, no, he didn't do a crowdfund. He did a pre-order, right? <clears throat> he did a pre-order. His website looked like a crowdfund with the transparency of a crowdfund. But he did a pre-order, and people are trying to tell this guy how he needs to run his business. And he's like, guys, I prepared for 10,000 books. I now have to scale up to over 50,000 books and all of this other merchandise. Oh, and by the way, he had to get other merchandise too. Like it's scaled up. And so, yeah, the, the, and it's just one of those things is people order stuff and they go, where's my stuff? And you go, okay, did you not, or did you not read the thing where it said, hey, we'll keep you updated with your order and we'll put updates out on like YouTube. Like, did you not read that thing? I don't know. I don't know. I, I have, I have an issue with a lot of people on the consumer side of things. Uh, Garcia, XV Legend. Yeah, I figured that would be the case considering a lot of people bought a book, comic book and other items alongside with lazy ass workers. <laughs> uh, other and other items alongside with lazy ass workers. I'm being patient with Eric's comic book being shipped in my area and a best friend of mine who works at Albertson's, uh, comic book being shipped in my area. And, okay, a best friend of mine who worked at Albertson has uh, lazy-ass uh, workers who don't do shit, bitch and complain, then um, quit uh, and quit for a matter of two to three days afterwards. Uh, I don't have to, I don't have to ask such a question to young Ripa because I'm fully aware of the situation in America. There are some places uh, who will just hire you for one day that, and then uh, get paid once you're done, which made my best friend's bosses at Albertson super pissed at such a hiring tactic. Um, I'm a customer who can be patient depending on the product and I'm getting 
uh, on the product I am getting from someone. Uh, Young Ripa's company isn't like Amazon nor a place uh, to pick up a pre-order book like GameStop. Uh, some customers think every website and place acts the same way. Like, nah, -uh. no, it does not, idiots. Yeah, no, yeah, that's and that's pretty much what it is. Yeah, everybody thinks, well, this website works this way, so why doesn't this website? Like, it's just a website. And no, no. No, you're all being dumb. Uh, Rob Clark, absolutely agree with you, and that's not even addressing the first problems that needed to be fixed when pretty much the site crashed and changed uh, and changed orders uh, to deal with. Uh, I believe in Ripa. He'll take care of it. Yeah, yeah, that's not even, like, his site completely. Hi, little one, go upstairs. But she has this creepy-ass mask. Um, go upstairs. It's, my children are just weird. Um, all right, Hesitant concept says, keep up the great work and keep uh, ranting. It goes along with, uh, with your name of your channel. Uh, you talk normal explaining things, then all of a sudden you, uh, you start going off, which I see that you are serious and level-headed, then you go back to normal. Uh, Eric July didn't expect so much response with the sales, and he's going to get through all uh, this uh, without... Uh, creating a sweatshop. Yeah, no. And he wants to pay people uh, what they're worth, which is fantastic. Uh, also, yeah, that's kind of how I am, like, in real life. Like, that's not really an act. <laughs> you can ask my wife or um, Matt when he's on or even Bill. Like, uh, especially when I'm talking politics. Like, that's not really an act at all. I will just be talking normal and then all of a sudden... Like, and they, they, and they know it's coming. Like, they've known me for long enough to know it's coming. And I'll just keep going and going and going and just feeding off of the, like, the bullshit in my head. And then I just kind of lose my shit. <laughs> and then I'll just fucking scream for, like, five minutes. And then I'm like, they're like, yeah, anyway, so, what are you doing today? And they're just like, dude, what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, so, that's kind of my personality. And unless my personality changes over the course of time, which personalities do that. Mine has changed uh, a lot over the course of time. Uh, unless my personality changes over the course of time, that that will that will remain true to the channel for a lot of videos. Uh, <clears throat> Lou Lee. Uh, it also depends on the size of the printing press. If Eric uh, July is utilizing, use, utilizing the services of American printing press, be patient because it's very likely... Um, uh, will be much uh, smaller printing press. This means changing out plates and uh, binding pages for graphic novels could take weeks before they even ship to a distributor. Well, I do know that he does have the books in. So, and the, the printing press, and that's why he scaled everything back or moved everything back on the timeline. Um, but yeah, I didn't even think about the printing press aspect of it. I didn't, it just, it, 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 that is a foreign concept to me. Warehouse work, I used to do warehouse work. So when Eric July was talking about working in a warehouse and all the stuff that he needed to do to do it. Now I worked in a chemical warehouse, but warehouse work is warehouse work. It's shipping and receiving and um, bills of lading when trucks comes in and like, yeah. So it's, you know, um, yeah, that's what it is. Um... Corey Sanford, considering uh, uh, Ethan Van Skyver has not given anyone an update for Rainbow the Brute, and it's been two years since people paid for it, I can wait for a book by a guy who is giving us constant updates. Yeah, so I don't know anything about that. I would most certainly hope Ethan Van Skyver is giving updates. That seems a little... I don't know. I mean, I like everybody says he's a cool dude and he's a good guy, but like, hopefully he's not, you know... I mean... That just seems weird to me. I don't know. I don't know. But thank you so much, Corey Sanford. Um, uh, Ira, Ira Brownridge Jr. I, Ira, Ira. Oh, man. I hope I say that right. Oh, I hope I'm saying your name right. Ira Brownridge Jr. There's so much work uh, Ripperverse team is doing. I appreciate the time it's taking for quality products. Uh, <laughs> I'm good. And as usual, good job explaining the situation. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. I... It's really, uh, it's like, I it's I don't think I'm ever going to get used to you guys coming up and being like, hey, dude, good job with that. Like, that feels like a lot more praise than I should ever get, ever. But thank you, guys. <laughs> um, 
Khalil Royal, damn man, you hit everything on the nail when you brought up the labor shortage, my guy. I've worked at UPS and everything you said is true. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it's everywhere, man. That's like these, these people that don't understand what the hell's going on. Like, I mean, they're, they're lucky to be able to get out of bed some days and like understand how to put their pants on. I swear, like the labor, it's not just like a labor shortage. It's like, yes, the labor is out there, but labor yeah, a lot of it you don't want man it's bad it's really really bad oh coffee all right uh maji chan ripper with the hard r uh, <laughs> at over seventeen thousand autographs bought that alone would kill a hand i was one of them i was also one of them uh the first day not even an hour before the campaign started the website nearly crashed from everyone on it there was also the paypal incident um uh, most don't know his team sent out emails to everyone with paypal order and told them not to worry that um uh, the battle was between uh, Ripa and PayPal, and that uh, we would still get our orders, though he hasn't been paid from them. Uh, for those who don't know, PayPal is withholding over a million dollars from the pre-orders, um, uh, yet he is still uh, determined to get his stuff out relatively at the same time. I believe in the Ripaverse, and I will wait. And we'll wait as uh, long as it takes, as I think, as long as it takes. I miss the days of epic battles between good and evil. Uh, the comics forget how to tell a good story. Isom may not be released yet, but I have uh, seen so many new projects started inspired by uh, July to try. This is one of the, well, I, it wasn't started by him, but I got inspired to push forward with this by Eric July. Uh, you... You are right. He is feeling growing pains of the business. Uh, when he started, he was looking for $100,000. Now suddenly finds himself looking at over $3 million in orders. Uh, that's not an easy task uh, to get your feet wet with. No, it is not. It is not. And yeah, and a lot of people seem to, uh, you know, like wanted to point out the PayPal situation. And I think a lot of people, obviously, probably new to the channel, didn't realize that I had done a couple of PayPal videos. But the PayPal thing is not one of the critical things that is keeping the books from shipping. That's why I did not bring it up in this video, and I will just stress that point one more time. The PayPal situation is absolutely hot garbage and completely not good, but it is not what is keeping the books from shipping, and that's why I didn't talk about it. Um, I'm almost wondering if I should have said that in the video. I, I probably should have been like, I'm not going to talk about PayPal. I don't know. Um, all right, that was done for the Ripper versus not shipping. Let's go to She-Hulk wants Smash, and you can find her on Tinder. Oh, great. This is... Um, people on Tinder... Uh, Xavier Guzman says, people on Tinder are only looking for true love. The truest of love. <laughs> Uh, Sunny Kim, Tinder degener degeneracy disgusts me. Tinder degeneracy disgusts me. I cannot talk today. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the hookup culture. I am, I'm not. I am very, very glad that my wife and I met each other when we were young. Uh, my wife and I have very, very, very different backgrounds when it comes to, uh, how we lived our lives. I was the good kid. Right? Uh, my wife is my one and only, and then my wife has stories that would rival most construction workers when it comes to bedding different people. I won't go into that here, because this is not what the channel is for, but yes, my wife and I have very different backgrounds, but we've been together for, uh, it'll be 12 years, 12 year anniversary here in about a month. So, 12 years of anniversary and 9 years being married. So, uh, we always go off the day we got together, so. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. So, no, like, yeah, the Tinder thing, I'm so glad that we just avoided all of that. That was the point of that little, you know, yeah, we just, well, again, my wife, she, you know, times in high school, she was a part of a hookup culture uh, type of thing, and it was, you know, and she tells me now, she's like, I am so glad that I, that nothing bad ever happened to me through a lot of that, and she goes, because I don't ever want to go back to that again, so, yeah, that's, that, that was the point of that, the t Tinder thing is, ugh. Lucas Garrett. <clears throat> well, if this isn't desperate, I don't know what is, Royce. Jeez. As my old friend uh, Derek Ferguson, may he rest in peace, God rest his soul, uh, and Thomas uh, DJ used to say uh, 
on their now defunct Better in the Dark podcast, you can love your character, just don't love your character, right? Uh, Disney is getting out of control. I'm so glad that I dropped Disney Plus when Disney Lucasfilm dropped Gina Carano. I have no interest in watching this series whatsoever. I agree. I, yeah, I, I, I yeah, I just, I jumped out because I, I, I don't know. It's like on the Disney Plus stuff. Um, I think my sister-in-law lets us use her account now because I know the kids still watch it. I keep telling my wife, I'm like, babe, this is an evil company. We need to get away from this company. And she's like, yeah, I want it. But it is a convenient thing for the house. But they're also jacking up the prices. And she goes, well, what about all these movies you want to watch? I'm like, go to eBay and buy them on eBay. I mean, it's not like I don't have like four game systems and a DVD player that will play all the DVDs. Giovanni Tumenia, I totally gave up on the MCU after Endgame. I agree, Giovanni, I did the same thing. Uh, even watching the new trailers leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah, and that's a taste you can't scrub out with a toothbrush either. That's the bad part. Ugh. Sons of Gaming, no thank you. We've already seen what it's like to die by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> <laughs> What's a snooky? <laughs> I love that comment so much, Sons of Gaming. <laughs> snooky one, snoo snoo. Oh god, that was a hilarious episode. It was absolutely hilarious. Um Xavier Guzman, I watched the first episode and it's hard to pass on this show for me. Uh, oh, and it's a hard pass on this show. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. I read that wrong. Sorry. My kids are wandering. Uh, yeah, I can't believe you watched the first episode, Xavier. I, uh, you, you guys have much more faith than I have in this show. Uh, um, Garcia, XV Legend. First, the whole, it's a must-she watch slogan. Oh, yeah. And now to put the MCU She-Hulk on Tinder. I love She-Hulk as much as the next guy, but this is some cringe-ass marketing tactics. The only She-Hulk I will ever love is from uh, the 1996 animated series. Her first issue, um, Comic Origin, and despite not fully watching it, uh, the Fantastic Four 2006 animated series. I missed that one. Uh, what they did to her in the 2010 comics was criminal by being uh, straight up Hulk with tits, and this new show is just diminishing her personality. Spider-Man No Way Home was also my last MCU movie. Um, didn't bother with the other new movies and most shows. The What If series sucked, and WandaVision uh, went from good to disappointment. Yeah, um, yeah, it seems... I, I've been keeping track of a lot of what's been going on with the storytelling for years, because... I, that's just what I've done. I've literally watched this stuff since I was a kid. I've always watched the animated style stuff for a long time. And um, it's been really hard to keep up with all this type of storytelling when like, I see the animations getting bad and I see some of the animated stories are getting bad. And I'm just like, okay, this doesn't... And then people are like, yeah, no, but that happened in the comic. And I'm like, wait, what? And I know people are like, yeah, no, that's a thing that happened in the comic books. So, oh, 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 okay. I'm like, oh, I don't read the comic books. I try to keep up with the the comic books in other ways, you know, by watching the motion comic books and stuff like that, which I have to figure out how the fuck I'm going to do that for the Ripperverse. Uh, that's going to be interesting. <clears throat> uh, G33X, shout out to a fellow former Coloradan. Hey! Yay! All right, I spent a majority of uh, my growing up years in that old place, but Endgame was a good jumping off point for Marvel. Disney is no longer family-oriented entertainment, so it's definitely time to get our alternatives built up. To answer your question, at the end, I usually get settled in after work about 7 or 8-ish. Yes, so uh, my question to you guys is what time of day works best for you watching videos? I have the community tab, so I need to do a poll. Would you guys, would you guys touch the poll? <laughs> if I put a poll up, would you guys touch the poll? And for those of you who are in the premiere chat right now, would would you? That would be awesome. That would. Oh, hey, nope. Go upstairs, little one. Go upstairs. I need to fix that because I don't like that reflection there on the stairs when people are. Yeah. So let's. I don't like that reflection there. Okay. 
But yeah, so I need to put up a poll and see if you guys, what time of day you guys would like to uh, watch, or what time of day work is best for you guys to watch the videos. Also, shout out to G33X, a fellow former Coloradan. Yep. I loved, I love, I will say this, man, Colorado, it was, it was a wonderful place when I was a kid. It's not now, but it used to be. Um, <clears throat> Clarity2199, well, I work, uh, well, I work, but my job is computer oriented, so I can literally watch YouTube all day. Okay, that's an answer to that question. What matters to me isn't the time you post, it's being interested and entertaining, and the topic have to do with what I'm interested in. So far, so good. Okay, well, yeah, and that's the thing is like, because I, I kind of cover a lot of different topics here, and I know I do, well, and I'm not trying to be so broad that I'm going to cover anything. I'm going to try to cover the stuff that I want to cover. Uh, uh, Joe Rosen, a drink with cra <laughs> a drink with anyone <laughs> at eight minutes would seem a <laughs> would seem a bit alky late afternoon slash early evening is the vibe. Good video, keep them coming. I got tongue tied, okay? I got tongue tied. All right. I I <laughs> I didn't even have that much beer. I think I had like the one that I did on the on that video, and I think I had like one before that. But no, I was tongue tied. I was tired. I wake up at like four in the morning, and I fuck, you guys are just you don't get it. <laughs> I think he totally gets it. Thank you so much for commenting, Joe Rosen. Oh, oh, all right. All right, the next one is Spider Mag, no flag from home. Let's get into those comments. <clears throat> All right, the gent. I think this is the guy who made the mod. All right. Um, and I think, how the hell did he repo? I think the second half. The second half is the first one that he posted. It got taken down. And then the first part is. All right, anyway, uh, I forgot to add the owner of the site is from the UK, so he's uh, not even American. The owner specifically said in one of the bands, because uh, you can read them on their forum, uh, and this is to quote the to quote the owner specifically, you have a great day now and go uh, do some reading up on the Constitution you like to talk about as it doesn't give you the protection you think it does. So, yeah, that mod site's... Uh, owned by a big bag of dicks uh anyway we 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 re-uploaded the mod go to my channel and watch the tutorial instructions in the description and pinned post uh also have a discord we also have the backup on odyssey in case youtube deletes it uh, uh so this mod ain't going nowhere good job or he said now where, but he meant no, and autocorrect is a bitch. Uh, we have it uploaded on the archive, and yeah, they still have the pride flag and a pride flag Spider-Man suit that's been up for three days now. They aren't taking it down, they said. Yeah, yeah, you can't post the, you, you literally can't make a mod that turns the pride flag into the American flag, but you can, you know, probably do the other way around. All right, before I rant on that, Fopeasy, howdy, good sir. Howdy to you, Fopeasy. How are you today? Giovanni Tuminia also must point out the, um, that this game is an individual game, meaning no one else is going to see it but the user. Whatever gets modded remains private. Yeah, like legit. That's not even, that's not even a thing. Uh, another appropriate title, Spider-Man, no gay home. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> okay, home. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good, Toxic Crusader. Sunny Kim, if it was replaced with something obscene or a meme, I could see it, but uh, dang all us. I don't know what the hell happened to the word. Uh, but dang all US, US, US. Uh, oh, because he put the flag thing. Oh, wow, that's interesting. Because I see in your... Okay, yeah, because it's... But the dang old American flag. And he just put three American flags there. Weird that it's doing that on the computer, but it didn't do that in the app. That's strange, because it usually shows the emojis. Uh, it sounds cliche at this point, These, but these people really do just hate the United States. Yeah, I know, right? It's not only like, you know, we've literally paid for their fucking military for the basically since World War fucking two. So that way they can have, we can have socialized medicine at the expense of our fucking military might. And now anymore, I mean, we're just a bunch of piss ass pansies anyway. So who gives a shit? 
<sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to get political there. It's really hard not to, though. It's really, really hard, especially on a topic like this. Xavier Guzman, but if the mod changed it to the China flag instead, them Twitter people wouldn't be bitching. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, or the Ukrainian flag. Uh, and then my lovely wife, Albany Rose, that is her screen name there. I'm so proud of you and the passion that drives you here. So, yes, that is my lovely, that is my lovely, lovely wife. That is Mama Runner. So, if you guys ever see her down in the chat, say hi. The Lord of the Rings has been sold. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right. Um, Mountain Months says, bad times ahead. Yeah, we're going to see what happens to the Lord of the Rings. Uh, I know Wizards of the Coast is releasing a card set where uh, to represent the modern sensibilities. And Aragorn's a black man. So, Aragorn is a short-haired black man. They couldn't even give him long hair. Because, you know, black men can't have long hair, apparently. <laughs> oh, fuck. Brandon Garcia, but you're drinking it out of the bottle, not the glass. Yeah, I know. All right. I was being a scrub. I get it. I get it. I apologize for my scrub bullshit. What beer did I drink on this one? Was that was that my 10% or was that Founders? No, I think that was the Founders. Ooh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Meek, so much for legacy. Uh, reality is often disappointing. Yeah. Yeah, you're not wrong, Meek. Uh, so a new set of Lord of the Rings movie will be made, except it will be set in Wakanda instead of Middle Earth, and the orcs will be replaced with white people. <laughs> They're literally going to do that. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong. Uh, CK101, we have Tolkien's books and Peter Jackson's movie. The rest, I don't give a shit about. Yeah, I mean, that's a good way to look at it. Um, that's a really good way to look at it. Billy Bobsack, hey, just wanted to say that Warner still owns the distribution rights to The Lord of the Rings. Most likely all that'll come out of this is sh uh, is shitty mobile games. Yeah, but like maybe not just shitty mobile games. Probably shitty mobile games, shitty board games, shitty video games. I mean, they they don't there aren't a lot of great Lord of the Rings games out there in general, so uh now Frederick uh Dunge Dunge? Frederick Dunge Dung Dunge? I'm gonna go with Frederick Dunge. Hopefully I say that right. Uh, I, I, his take here is interesting. Might not be that bad. Embracer uh, used to be THQ Nordic, and they've usually been fairly respectful when adapting IPs. He's got more of a hopeful thing here. I'm good with it. All right, and Convoy Bebop. You guys know Convoy Bebop. He runs the Twitch stream for a Drink With Crazy. He is a member over here at uh, Drink With Crazy. As soon as you said board game rights, I uh, uh, board game rights, it now he said and now, but he said he means it now makes sense why they are coming out with Lord of the Rings set in Magic the Gathering. Yes. All I all I can say to the hardcore Tolkien fans and Tolkien's like le legacy, may God bless your souls, hard work, passion, and the ability to gatekeep your beloved stories. Thou shalt not be tainted despite the inevitable. Never give up. Yes. Yes, Godspeed. Or as Razorfist would say, God fucking speed, Tolkien fans. Uh, no, you don't get to know. Everyone should watch the Lord of the Rings movie from the early 2000s, the day the Rings of Power comes out. Y oh, wouldn't that piss those people off? Oh, their panties would be in such a twist. Um, Scott Noonmaker says, oh my god. <laughs> or he says, OMG. OMG. It's a good thing you weren't around to panic the last time they were sold. And then he does the, you know, uh, relax, dude. If someone makes a terrible movie or TV show, just don't watch it. Problem solved. Uh, uh, if it's bad, it won't make them any money. So they won't make more. So they will sell it. And then you just have to wait for them to do something with it uh, bef uh, before repeating the process. Until then, just rewatch the cartoons or Peter Jackson's movies. Relax. Not everything is a panic worthy event. Not panicking. Um, not panicking, just passion. They're passionate. There's a difference. And the reason that I'm passionate about this stuff is that so here's the deal it's not about me not watching this stuff because I'm already not going to. It's about my children, who are going to probably see some commercials for things, and they're going to go, we want to watch it. We want to see this. 
And I, as the parent, you talk about gatekeeping. I am the gatekeeper for what my children consume and what they know is true. And there's a lot of things out there that my kids want to check out and watch. And I say, yeah, but they didn't do that right, guys. They're lying about the real story. Here's the real story. And here's the problem. I cannot be ever present for my kids as much as I would like to be. That's part of the reason that if this channel grew to a point where I could work from home, that would be my ultimate goal. So I could be more present in my kids' schooling because we do homeschool, more present with teaching them about movies and film history because I would love to teach my kids about that stuff and storytelling in general and what we could... That was a big buzz on my phone. And um, and what we could do. So yeah, um, it's not about me not watching it. It's about what my children are going to be exposed to as they get older because again, I can only gatekeep things away from them for so long and for so much like we all were kids and we were all watching stuff that our parents didn't want us to watch and we were all taking in media that our parents didn't want us to take in and my wife and I do our absolute best to make sure that we are monitoring what they watch and consume and if these people are grabbing this stuff and putting these poisonous messages into the media and it gets to my kids because I literally can't be ever present like right now I am recording a video right and if I can't be there to protect my kids from this poison that they're trying to seep out to them, then that's what that's why it's important to talk about this. It's not about my... I already had my childhood, dude. And my childhood was pretty good outside of the fact I got picked on for some shit and I was one of the nerdy kids, dude. I was still fucking buying action figures when I was like 14 years... Eh, 13 years old. Like, and I literally stopped buying action figures because I was like... I felt like sh ashamed about it. Like, I did, and I stopped buying action figures when I was, like, 14. But, like, yeah, like, except for some of my best friends who were just like, yeah, that's, like, dude, you, you do you. Like, no. So, my childhood was fucking killer. My job and the lessons that I learned in my childhood have brought me into adulthood, and I've built upon those lessons. I don't need this poisonous shit getting into my children's head affecting their childhood and their adulthood. Okay. So no. It's 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 not not everything is a panic worthy event. You're absolutely right. And I'm not panicking. But I am the shield and the sword for my household and I have to act as such and in in the appropriate ways. So no. But Scott Noonmaker, thank you so much for commenting. I do appreciate that and I do like the I I like your take on it, man. I do. You know, I just, that's part of the reason that I'm doing the channel. This is the reason I'm doing the channel, is to fight back against this stuff. So that way my children, hopefully, if we can break through somehow, we can e eviscerate this poison. So. Oh, my nose is being dumb. <clears throat> uh, Laveria95. Simon Tolkien is the head of the Tolkien estate now. When Christopher Tolkien passed away, I knew the preservation of his father's legacy would go with him. Yeah, I was kind of afraid of that. At the end of the day, though, um, they can't change the books, so we'll have the original source material and PJ's movies, which I thoroughly enjoy, despite Christopher Tolkien's uh, protestations. I think that they're going to go in and alter the books. I think they're going to go. That's that's their their next goal. I think they're going to go in and any reprints from now on, they're going to they're going to change them. So, it's all about eBay and buying old stuff now. But yeah, I think they're going to go in and, and change the language of the books. I really do. <clears throat> um, thank you so much, Liberia95. My nose is being so dumb today. I apologize, guys. It doesn't matter who buys Lord of the Rings. Those of us who know and love what Lord of the Rings was, is, and always will be... We'll never recognize all this new garbage that gets changed uh, for ridiculous agendas. Yeah, dead end, forty nine ninety one. That's that's a great way to say it. That is a great way to say it. All right, moving on to the Ghost of Tsushima movie announcement. <laughs> I love this one. Um, I loved this movie. Meek says Royce. That's all he said. Xavier Guzman replied to five nine. And then I had to figure out why he just randomly commented my name. Couldn't figure it out. He's like, nope, just randomness. So, you know, he just decided to take chaos. Like, chaos. Verbal. Mind-altering, mind-warping chaos. 
and just put it in my comments of my Ghost of Tsushima video. So thank you for that, Meek. That, that, that fucked with my brain at like four in the morning when I woke up and I couldn't figure out what the hell was going on. I was like, wait, why, why is he saying my name? What did I do? Convoy Bebop <laughs> is back. Uh, it's like N64 kid all grown up. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, you know how I'm ex how excited I am. I was actually playing Ghost of Tsushima yesterday before we went to the movie. I have 117 hours on that current playthrough. Because <clears throat> sometimes I'll just ride around and... 117, yeah, I'm almost... No, I'm, I'm got to be at 120 on that. That specific save file, I'm at 120 hours. Uh, Giovanni Too Many, I never played the game, but I love watching fantasy martial arts uh, genre like de uh, Detective D, although that's Chinese, not Japanese. Yeah, no, dude, if they... So, the, the good thing about Ghost of Tsushima is it's by one of the guys who made John Wick. So, if we can get the, you know, something to be done in to pay homage to Kurosawa... In the art, uh, in the, with the cinematography and the choreography of John Wick, with an all Japanese cast, spoken in all Japanese, all they have to do is get the costumes and the period pieces right. Like, that's it. If they do that, it's all, it's just good. I mean, at that point, does it even need to, and then they just kind of loosely base it off of the historical events that actually happened and just don't get too crazy with it. Have your beginning, your middle, and your end. Don't do any deep philosophical crap. Like, you know, show Jin Sakai, he gets hurt. Yuna comes in, helps him. Like, that it that it, it's already written. Like, they, oh, this game, it could be, this movie could be really good before I go on that. Uh, back down the revenge. I heard whispers of this before. Never cared, but your hype made me excited for this. Your excitement is contagious, crazy. Here's hoping they stay true. They already mentioned that they won't make anyone speak English. Uh, it's in the right direction for sure. Yes. Yes, it is. And I am so glad that my enthusiasm and excitement is contagious. I that's that that's the best thing that could be contagious for this world is excitement and enthusiasm. So thank you, back down the revenge. I appreciate it. All right, and now to the last video of the week, uh, Dragon Ball Super Superhero Review. Not a whole lot of comments on this one. <clears throat> but important comments nonetheless. Not Morelnum. Not Morelnum. I see what you did there. Remove Chi-Chi. Fix the universe. Chi-Chi ruined Gohan uh, because being an academic is more important uh, then the world existing, uh, that is immersion devastation that can't be undone. People want to exist. They want their children to live. Chi-Chi doesn't act like a human. I, 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 yeah, I don't know if I'd agree. Uh, making a movie about Piccolo trying to undo the damage seems masturbatory. Yeah. Uh, P.S. Although I do appreciate the small nod toward the idea of intellectuals being the dumbest people on earth. Uh, I'm really not sure this is, uh, this show is thought out that well test. Yeah. Um this I I couldn't figure out I don't know, something's not sitting right with me about Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And so I I sitting there last night and I, I woke up, I fell asleep in the chair at like nine, I woke up at like midnight, couldn't get back to sleep till like four in the morning. I was just sitting there just thinking about this movie and just, and I was like, man, something's not sitting right. I don't know what it is. It just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right. And I'm like, I, I want to be excited. And so I went and I was like, all right, let me go check out some videos to see, like check out some reviews and some other videos and discussion stuff on Dragon Ball Super and this movie and all that to see if by listening to other people, if they can't help me formulate like what I'm feeling so I can, and, and I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking Dragon Ball Super, uh, I don't know, I think the movies are gonna, I don't know, I don't know, I, I, I gotta think about it, it just doesn't sit right, this movie doesn't sit right, uh, K Taylor 145, Bojack, lol, I'm not talking about Bojack Horseman, Bojack Unbound, I'm gonna have to rewatch now, would be interested to see what your top 5 or top 10 Dragon Ball movies are, um, yeah, that's a thing. God, I don't even know what my top five would be. I have, I have zero clue. Probably a top five. Because there's what? There's like 14, 15 of them now? Well, 
Well, there's got to be more than that. No, there's... I don't remember how many there are. I know there's enough to do a top 10. I just don't know if I would do a top 10. There's like, because some of them I'm like, ah, eh, they're fun, but I don't know if I would. Yeah, if I did a ranking video, yeah. But like my top five, I'd have to think about. Uh, Dead End 49.91. I'm bummed. I can't watch it until it comes out to purchase. Unfortunately, uh, its showings are outside my availability. Yeah, we almost ran into that as a family. And thank God we didn't because we were actually able to make sure that... Uh, we were able to go as a family because that was hugely important to me. So, and my kids loved it. My kids thought it was great. So, I mean, I definitely think the Toei and Fuji TV and corporate BS. I mean, Toriyama, I think he wrote the script for it, but he's barely involved anymore. He he does he does so that's that's why a lot of things will still feel like Dragon Ball, but they're not being presented as such because Toriyama is not he's not the spearhead anymore you know he might be the rope that's holding the spearhead on the spear but he's not the spearhead anymore so um and whereas he used to just be the whole damn spear the spearhead the you know the toe line if you guys know what the rope is that holds the the that holds the spearhead on the spear what is that rope called what is that do you, there's got to be somebody that knows but yeah toriyama used to be that and then he used to be the stick or the staff, or I don't know what the hell you call it. I don't know. I don't know spear names. But anyway, that's it for this week's uh, reading the video comments, guys. And I absolutely love doing this. And thank you guys all for your interest in the channel. We are at like, like I said, 576 subscribers as of right now. With I think like 80% of the people checking out the channel who are not subscribed. So if you guys would take the time to subscribe to the channel and share the channel with everybody that you know that would be absolutely fantastic and just thank you all so much and i hope those of you who were here for the premiere chat had a fantastic time i should be in the premiere chat with you guys uh, but thank you all so much for checking out a drink with crazy and i look forward to seeing you all next time right here on a drink with crazy cheers thank everybody. you for watching and a drink with crazy if you liked the conversation make sure to click here to see more